Oh yeah. That's what we were talking oh yeah. About There's a bald eagle. Wow. Alright guys, today is going to be a different video. I got a, I got a friend, not even just a friend, I got my fiance with me. <laughs> We're going to be doing a video for you. We uh, drove up to a place called Bosco in New Hampshire. We're here to check out the Hannah Dustin Memorial. We'll, Want to walk we'll, up this? Yeah, we'll talk a little bit more about it. We're just going to do some exploring for you guys. Let's, let's check it out. Cool view. That is a cool view. <laughs> cool. All right. We could walk down to the end of that island. Ooh, that'd be cool. Let's go exploring. Let's do some exploring. Okay. So, we've actually, fun fact, we've come to this memorial before. Uh, well, statue, it's a memorial, right? Yeah, it's both. And it's really cool. It has a lot of story. Um, for those of you that don't know, we're from New Hampshire. And um, I don't know, I think New Hampshire has a lot of history. I mean, a lot of places do. But um, I don't know, I think New Hampshire has like a lot of cool, unique history. I the first 13 colonies. Yeah. yeah. We have some old stuff here. I remember our history classes when I was growing up I mean every history class you were not just given like a little book you were given like a big fat book yeah. I don't know if your history class the thickest book you had yeah and I love history I think it's really really cool and that's one of the many reasons why I love living in the, the east coast and everything <laughs> New northern England. New England so check this out guys this is cool do you hear the what are they, crickets? Crickets, yeah. And uh, we'll talk more about Hannah Dustin because that's that's a really cool story. I remember when we first discovered this place <laughs> and uh, we didn't even know that there was like a statue and someone actually showed us it and we checked it out and kind of did... The story behind it's so cool. Yeah, we did some research because, you know, we wanted to know about it. So when we did, we we're like, whoa, this was, this is insane, so... Yeah, she was a cool woman. She's cool. badass. Some people look at her as a villain, but some people look at her as a hero. So you guys can be the true, uh, what? I thought I just saw a toad in here. I was gonna catch it for the video. Maybe no. not, I'll just catch poison ivy instead. Catch a toad for the views. <laughs> it's actually a really nice day. Yeah. It feels like fall. It yeah. went from summer to fall so quick. Yeah, New England can have, um, can be pretty bipolar with weather. I just stepped in something that felt like dog poop, <laughs> but it wasn't. I'm oh glad. no. <laughs> And I believe this is a beach that goes onto the Merrimack River, right? Yep. Or is this still the Pemi? No, this is the Merrimack. Look at that, guys. Your own little beach. Let me see if there's yeah. people on it. Go check it out. Do some exploring. Come 
not a soul. And uh, we've actually gone fishing here before. You can catch some pretty nice suckers and some bass and uh... And it's a nice place to swim. Yeah. This is in the middle of the capital city in New Hampshire. Yep. So the fact that you have something like this is really cool. Yeah. It's really nice. And there's a, the, a bridge off in the distance. Maybe this we'll check that island. out. Yeah, this Canada is... Canada Dustin is on. Yeah, so this was, believe it or not, the island that I guess she was on. And then she... What did they paddle up over there or something like that? Well, if you look on the other side, we'll show it, but there's kind of sandbars. It gets shallow. I think they might have been able to walk back in 1697. You know, I think the water might have been a little different. Different, yep. But, uh, it's cool. There's just a lot of history just here. You know, you can just see, like, there's big pillars right here. I mean, it's probably the a bridge, old train. old train tracks and everything. And, um, yeah, New Hampshire was used for a lot of industries, logging, shoemaking, shoe -making, brick making. Uh, yeah, there, there was a lot of transporting goods in New Hampshire in the early years. Yeah, belts, yeah, a lot of stuff. Um, looks like there's some people on the, on the train tracks right now, but yeah, this is nice. Not bad. Chilly, there but... flat rocks? No. Let's give a couple stones. I don't see any. Good walk. Walk down here, maybe. I don't know if you guys are interested, but if you want to see more stuff like this, or even more like fishing or anything in particular, just comment below. You can even follow me on Facebook on Lou NH Music. I post a bunch of stuff on there. Check it out. Join the journey. Right? Oh. Check this out, guys. Um, I'm not prepared under for this. Highway. Yeah, you are under the highway, but. Where else can you get that, though? <laughs> a beach under a freeway. Well, there's kind of trash, though, at this end. Sad. I'm wearing heels. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not the best footwear. And there's actually, believe it or not, if you come to this place, it's right off the highway. Just search up the Hannah Dustin Memorial. Believe it or not, there's another beach down that way. If you were to go over there, if you go on this highway, take a left. There's another another cool little beach. There's also bald eagles everywhere around here. Yes, bald eagles everywhere. Yeah, I guess there's a bald eagle's nest. We've seen it here a few times. Yeah, it's somewhere under this bridge. graffiti I like art It's a height. <laughs> All right, let's go check out what we came here yeah. for. I think that's what everyone wants to see. Are you good getting up a little oh, bit? Yeah. Look Second at all that Oh. Now that is good graffiti. Can you guys see that? Person right there. Oh. That's some art. I'm actually warming up out here. Me too. I'm actually warming up myself. 
it was actually kind of chilly and now it's like warming up. I feel like I need to take my shirt off or something. Yeah. I don't know, am I leaving anything out? No, um, just to touch upon it again though. Like you said, we live in an area where there's a lot of really cool old stuff. Um, so if you guys are interested in it, let us know. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff that's within driving distance that's really cool. Old houses, churches, um, museums, everything that we could really go and explore. So it would be cool. Yeah, and I think we were even talking about maybe going to some like, not even just trails or historical sites in the, in the like what we're doing right now, mm -hmm. but actually going to, what was it, Strawberry Bank? Oh, that's cool. That's yeah. cool. I know right now with COVID, there's a lot of things going on. But Strawberry Bank is this cool spot in Portsmouth, New Hampshire, where you get to see and actually go into this little village that's set up like a like a pilgrim, like back then, you know. Mm -hmm. And it's really interesting because you have people dressed and acting like it's that time. So it's really cool. I remember it's a very popular thing to do if you're living in New England. Like every school goes on their every field trip every there. literally every school does it. Comment below if you were someone that went to school in New England and. You ended up going. Strawberry bank field trip. You had a strawberry bank field trip. I did. <laughs> I did. So, but yeah, comment below if you guys want to see anything more like this. I know. Um, before all this stuff hit, we wanted to go to you know like Punta Cana and all these cool places. Eventually. But eventually, that's kind of what happened. So, just work and save. Work and save. Work and save. <laughs> Yep. Part of you just dies on the inside. Ooh. All right. I, I want these to be as simple and easy for everyone and for myself. So, um, as possible. As possible. So, one take is, is generally what I'm going for here. And uh, I apologize if my camera skills are horrible. I'm um, getting used to it. It's second time. So, yeah. I can already tell having someone with me. It makes it so much easier to vlog. Yeah, because you can get away with people thinking that you're talking to me. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's I different got... when you're having a conversation when someone's with you, but then having a conversation when no one's near you, it's kind of... I tell you, man, I was getting some weird looks yesterday at my, at my gig when I was walking around. And uh, you guys can see that video. I'm going to be posting that one as well. So, all right, I'm going to stop talking right now because we should be arriving. The memorial soon and we'll we'll talk more about that in just a minute but enjoy the views Painted glory. This is, um, man, I don't even know how to. So, for those of you that don't know, Hannah Dustin was a mom, uh, a Puritan mom. Yep, back in the Puritan times. Back in the Puritan times that lived in. Haverhill, Massachusetts. Massachusetts. And it was um, during, you know, the 16th century, 17th century of America, there was like, a, I believe it was called the King Williams War. And it was a war that was led by a Native American man who didn't really like um, the pilgrims coming over and, and setting up on Native American territories. So this is where it gets kind of controversial because some look at um, Hannah as a hero. Um, so a, a strong did, woman. Which we haven't talked about yet. Yep, which we haven't talked about yet. But some look at her as 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 a villain, and I thought that is really interesting. But anyway, on uh, do you want to explain the rest? Yeah, um, sure. So back in 1697, the group of Abenaki Indians or Abenaki Native American group went down to Haverhill, Massachusetts, where Hannah Dustin's um, settlement was 
and they raided a bunch of houses and they killed 27 Puritans and they took 13, um, 13 of them captive. So three of them happened to be Hannah Dustin, her housemaid, I believe her name was Mary, and her newborn daughter. Um, and they, the Abenakis, they took them and they went through the woods and beelined it for New Hampshire, where we are right now. It took a couple nights on the route. Um, I believe they took the tracks or they followed the trail that's along the tracks or something. I don't think there were train tracks back then. If not, they probably went across the river. They just followed the water. They followed the water, yeah. You know, the water yeah. It was all back then. Yep. Um, but Hannah's newborn wouldn't stop crying, so a couple hours into the trip, they ended up taking her and hitting her against a tree until she stopped crying and that was very brutal for a mother of a newborn, a mother, anyone to watch at all. So that is crazy. Um, and then after a couple more hours, they kind of just, yeah, there's a cool little thing. It's like this railway, little side note. You can pay and take these rail carts and take a scenic ride through New Hampshire. Oh, that's cool. It's, yeah, the New Hampshire scenic railway. You guys see railway. that? Right. Yeah. Um, so anyway. But anyways, um, a couple nights into the trip, they are following this river, the Merrimack River, up into New Hampshire, um, and they get to this spot. And if you look right down there, there's this sandbar. They take the sandbar out to the island, set up camp for the night. Everyone's sleeping. Hannah Dustin gets a tomahawk. She wakes up her um, helper Mary and they single-handedly scalp, I think it was like nine or 10 of the Native Americans, sparing only two, which was a very young infant, and I can't remember the job of the other one, but it was two people that they spared. They had 10 scalps in a bag that they were bringing back to their Puritan village in Haverhill, I know. It's, you know, times Savage. are different. Savage. Times, times have changed. Um, but she was a hero back then for it because she single-handedly freed herself and all of these people from her village, from this Native American tribe, scalped them, and then it took a couple days, retraced their steps and made it back home. So she's a victory story for a lot of people, but for a lot of people, they're like, she shouldn't have been on Native American territory in the first place. So yeah. it's kind of, it's, controversial pick a side pick a side i mean i think she was a really that, like when i first heard that story i was like that's so badass and it all happened at midnight in the i know night. but that's like at the same here. time the more research you dig you're like oh okay so there's two sides of it i don't know i think i'm in the middle march 30th 19 march 30th 1697 so this is it and sadly it's been completely vandalized but here, there used to be get a, a fence zoom on the here? face. Oh yeah, I mean, let me see if I can get a zoom on this. We watched a documentary on this actually, and the owner was saying that kids would throw rocks, and they actually knocked her tomahawk off of the statue, which has been fixed, and they broke the nose off, which has not been repaired. But there is a whole restoration process that I just saw that got passed from the town to redo this statue due to the vandalism. So I'm hoping they'll be able to fix everything to what it should be. I don't think I can zoom. No. Won't let me. That's okay. But if you are to see- We'll zoom in the actual video. Her nose, it's broken off. Yeah, just flat, no yeah. nose. And her toes. But yeah, that's uh, Harum Gesta Fides Justicia, which was um, justice by faith in Latin. That's what I was going to do. I believe here are all the, um, let's see here. Donors. Yeah. These are all the people that donated, um, for the statue here. I said about acorns. Oh yeah. Acorns galore. They're brutal. 
Fun fact, there's actually this really interesting video of this already, and it's called Savage, the hand of Dustin story. March 15th, 16th, wait, didn't it say the 30th? Oh, I think the 15th is when they took them, the 30th is when they returned home to Haverhill. Ah. Uh. I don't understand how people can truly vandalize. She's carrying all the scalp food cans. Yeah. Let me just walk around and get a good uh, overview of her. You can see the scalps in her hand. See the tomahawk. That's, that's pretty much it. All right, I think I know how we can end this video. Let's end it at the bridge. Oh, yeah, let's do that. So, question is, do you think she was a hero or a villain? Comment below. No, you. Oh, me? Yeah. <sighs> Just walk on the side, because there's track things coming. See, I kind of said this earlier. I, I think I'm in the middle. Can I say that? Yeah, I was a little too. Because although I think she was really badass, like for a woman to stand, like do that, like all by herself. All by herself. Nice. Like when you hear that, you're like, whoa, oh, okay, that's that's some that's some pretty heavy stuff. But when you look at America's history, in the sense where people came over here and were taking Native Americans' land, I mean, Native Americans today are still fighting to keep their land, which so is still an ongoing thing, which is. Just a, yeah, I always think about it, you know, I always think like what would America truly be like if you know, it was we all never came here? If we never came here or if it was just Native Americans, I can you know, tell you, it would be beautiful. I, it would be beautiful. It would be so amazing. It might be savage. Oh, no pun intended. Everyone, but it would be beautiful. everyone would have way cooler names. Hey guys, check it out. These are the, uh, what are they called? The bike things? Yeah. You can do? They're gonna be passing by us. This is gonna be pretty cool. But yeah. We'll see that. I want to show it. Yeah, don't like video tape. Yeah. Don't You can put it back on us. I feel like. Yeah. So you want to just look off the bridge? Yeah, I want to see what the bridge is like. Would you ever jump off the bridge? No. Hi, how's it going? Hi. <laughs> Looks like a lot of fun. Oh, I've always wanted to do that. Oh, maybe. That'd be a fun video. We should do it. Right? Oh, that would be a great video. If you guys want to see us go on one of these bike things, comment below and we'll do it. Fall time. We'll do it right when the foliage is peaking. Oh, yeah. Want to see what's here? Looks like we have a little... It's a big drop. I don't want to lock down there. I'll do it. You'll do it? Here, get a, get a video of me doing it. That's a big drop. There's a swing right here. Swing. I'm wearing heels. I'm not coming down there. Give me the camera. Check this out, guys. This is cool. I never noticed this. So you got more trash, but somewhat of a beach. Check this out. There's a swing right here. That's cool. So you can swing off and just jump right in there. That's really cool. Uh-oh. I think someone has a fear of bridges. I've been there. Mm -hmm. A little grasshopper there. Ooh. All right. Can you take it? Yep.
That's really cool. That's cool. Alright. Really yeah, we might as well just turn back. There's a lot of people on these bike trails, so we don't really want to get in people's way. But we will end the video there. Guys. We should end it and end it with cards. Oh yeah. Here, I'll do a recap when we get back to the car. Woo. All right, guys, I think we came to the conclusion we're definitely gonna have to do this railway bike thing. Because that, look at this, ready? This is gonna be nuts. What do you think, they have brochures or something like that? Yeah, they're so cool. Yeah, they must have brochures up here. Looks like a popping thing. Hello. Oh yeah. That's what we were oh yeah. Earlier. There's a bald eagle. Wow. Let's see if we can find one of these brochures. I want definitely want to do this. I know for a fact there's brochures. Oh yeah, look at this, it. At the, yeah, that's so cool. Is it this one? It's gonna be on one of these. I'm actually gonna take because this is the Northern Rail Trail. This is what it is. You want me to just ask her? I don't know if she works. I think she does. Excuse me, do you guys know what this is called? Scenic Rail Ride. Scenic Rail Ride? Thank you. All right, thank you very much. In, in um, Newport, Rhode Island. Newport. Oh, cool. Not by the same company. Okay. Awesome. Scenic Rail Ride. Actually, I think Scenic I see a Rail Ride. Right there. I'm gonna go grab oh, it. all right. Yeah. This looked fun. Yeah. yeah. So where do you guys start? Uh, back there, two miles. Okay. So you go back to Concord. Yep. Wherever we are now, and you go out that way a mile and a, about a half, and yep. come back, and then you get. Across That's really the nice. And come back over this way. Take a picture of the hubcap. Yeah. It's got the little yeah. Logo on it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. oh. Perfect. Scenic Railroad. Yeah. Scenic yeah. Railroad. Thank you guys very much. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Looks like a blast. Yeah. <laughs> How long did it take you guys about? We're not done yet. We got to go back. So it's still yep. two hours. Two hours? Yeah. That's so it's great. two hours. Yeah. Scenic yeah. Railroad, guys. Cuts around a little bit as they turn them around. Okay. Well, have a good rest of your day. Yeah, you Thank you very much. Day. Awesome. Wow, there was a lot of people at the end of that. I kind of felt bad I didn't have a mask. But this is uh, this is this was it. Scenic Rail Riders. We're definitely gonna have to try this out, guys. So, a video to come. Video to come for the future. Yes, absolutely. That was really cool. Um, I like to kind of shed light on little historical things that we both do. We people really... don't hear about very often. Yeah. So that was enjoyable. Which... I hope you guys liked it. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was actually our first time doing a vlog together. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to like that. Uh, like that. What's it like called? Like the video. Like the video. Comment. Subscribe, subscribe if you really like it and you want to see more or if you just want to be you know or just watch it just watch it you, know? you can just watch it all right guys this video has gone on too long so i'm going to end it here take out
like take out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll see you later, guys. Have a good Bye. one. <laughs> so it says the war. The. I see the war hoop tomahawk. Faggot? And infant. In Infanticide. <laughs> Wart at. We should cut this part out. I can't read. Okay, so it says the war whoop. Whoop. W H O O P. Whoop tomahawk. That says faggot. And. and Infanticide. Infanticide. Wart at Haverhill. The ashes of wigwam campfires at night and of ten of the tripe. Our tribe are here. Oh, oh, I see the, the ashes of the wigwam campfires at night and of 10 of the tribe are here. So the ashes of the 10 Abenaki Native Americans that she scalped are at this site here. Some heavy Brutal. stuff.